it is, oh, I'm gonna see, okay, all right, it is currently 5.48 in the morning. Um, I don't do this a lot. Like, I, I really I really don't do this very often, um, but there is one exception to the whole rope dropping rule that I have of, of don't rope drop, and that's where we're going this morning. So I am out here spending the morning at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Um, and this is by far my favorite park to spend a morning at. And there are a few reasons why this is my favorite park and the only park that I really ever do a rope drop for. Now, if you don't know what a rope drop is, what that basically means is that I was here for like the exact time that the park opened. The reason it's called a rope drop is because the cast members literally hold up a rope or, or there's a rope attached like on the walkway to get in that stops people from like fully entering into the park. So at the time that the park opens, they drop the rope and you go, you go into Animal Kingdom, hence rope drop. Now, if you're going to plan to rope drop Animal Kingdom to be here right when the park opens, you're gonna spend a morning here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. There's a couple of things that I wanna share with you that are really important to know when you're planning to do this. So first thing that I wanted to share, and something that you might have heard a lot in doing any research about planning for Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park is that if you're gonna rope drop, if you're gonna get here right in the morning, you should try and do the Kilimanjaro Safari right away. Now this is actually a great tip. I really like this tip for a few reasons. Number one, most people are coming into the park hoping to get to Flight of Passage to get that out of the way and try to not have as long of a wait, you know, if they did it like middle of the day. The second reason that this could be a really great idea is because it's very early in the morning, even for the animals that are out on Kilimanjaro Safari. So I've heard really great things about people having incredible safaris because you have to remember the, the safari itself is actually a reservation. The animals are, well, they're not like totally free roaming, like a lion's not gonna walk up to your up to your truck but the animals do have more free range in you know their enclosures than they do at probably a normal zoo that you would go to i just came off the safari i feel like this morning early morning idea for like a really incredible safari is a little hit or miss i think that you probably could have really great experiences on the safari very early in the morning with animals being more active and being you know, being able to see some really cool things happen with the animals out there on the safari. But I also think you might experience what I just experienced myself, where we saw some animals and that was amazing, but I missed the elephants. Um, I think we even took like a different path and didn't even really get a chance to see the elephants. I missed the African painted dogs, which are always really cool to see, especially when they're active. They're, they're very interesting animals. Even even the the like the dwarf goats that are on the safari, like they're always out, no matter what time of day it is, and they, they weren't out on this safari, so I miss them too. So I think that the safari early in the morning is a great tip. I think you should do it. I only waited 18 minutes to actually get onto the safari, and when I got off, it was at, already at a 25 minute wait. That's only gonna go up throughout the day as people start making their way around the park. But just know that like, the activity of the animals, in my opinion, is probably gonna be hit or miss. The second thing that you need to know about rope dropping for Animal Kingdom is that you actually need to go against some advice that you've probably heard for every park, which is which direction to start your day when you come into the park. So this is like a little bit of psychology that some people have just noticed over the years. And so it's become this, this thing that has always been suggested for when you're entering a park, especially right when the day starts, like for any of the parks, you're rope dropping a park, that you should always try to go to the left because most people, when they enter a place and it's set up like these parks are set up, they always tend to go to the right to start their day. So if you go to the left, like at Magic Kingdom, if you go to the left towards Adventureland, most people are going to the right towards Tomorrowland. And so the Adventureland attractions are going to have lower wait times right in the morning because 
everybody went right. That's, it's a thing that's always been out there about the parks. Interesting is that here at Animal Kingdom, I think that's the exact opposite of what you want to do. I noticed this the last time that I had like rope dropped this park as I was coming in, walking down the main section here, coming towards the Tree of Life. Most people are going to the left instead of going to the right. And the reason for that is because most people coming into the park are trying to get over to Flights of Passage in Pandora before it really starts to get a huge wait time, you know, towards the middle of the day. So they're trying to knock that one out. Also, a lot of people are hearing the tip about Kilimanjaro Safari to do it early in the morning, so that's also to the left, so most people are going to the left, whereas the right is kind of empty. So walking to the right and going towards attractions like Dinosaur, It's Tough to Be a Bug, over to Everest, those are probably going to be your lowest wait times early in the morning because most people are going left and nobody's going right. absolutely love to rope drop Animal Kingdom like this is this is the best this is in my opinion the best tip that I can give you for Animal Kingdom if you're coming here in the morning this is the time that you're going to get the best pictures here in Pandora so uh, without getting too much into like the technical reasons of photography and exposure and all that kind of stuff it basically just has everything to do with the Sun the way Animal Kingdom is set up the sun is actually going to come up on the other side of the park just behind Everest. And now because of that, because the sun is going to come up just behind Everest on the other side of the park and the floating mountains of Pandora here are basically straight across from Everest, the sun is going to be like early in the morning, it's going to be hitting them dead on and it just looks amazing. As photographers and videographers, there's something known as golden hour. So golden hour is gonna be like that early morning just as the sun is coming up or, or kind of like twilight when the sun is starting to set. When everything, when it's a sunny day and there's not like overcast or clouds or anything like that, but when it's a sunny day, everything just kind of looks gold, right? Like it has just that gold hue to it. Now, because again, the sun comes up the way it does over the park, on the other side of the park behind Everest, it actually is going to set behind the floating mountains here. So when you're in Pandora and the sun is starting to set behind the floating mountains and you're taking a photo in front of the mountains, the sun is actually gonna be at your back and it's just not going to look as good. So your only chance to really get that golden hour look for all of your Instagram photos, for all of your Facebook photos, to share with all of your friends and family here in Pandora, is going to be during that early morning, like when you rope drop this park. So to wrap up these three things that I think you need to know about rope dropping Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. Number one, if you're doing your research on YouTube or on the blogs or anywhere on the internet about how to plan for a rope drop morning here at Animal Kingdom, and you're seeing that tip of doing safari because you're gonna have a great safari with the animals being more active, just know, in my opinion, I think this is gonna be hit or miss. I really think that some of the animals might be more active, some of the animals may not be. So just know it might be hit or miss, but doing it, getting out of the way, trying it in the morning, 100%, I would say, go for it. Number two, the idea of going right instead of left when you first come into the park. I really think that this is gonna be a great strategy for navigating the park because you're going, if you come in and you go to the right, you're gonna get lower wait times because 90% of people are going left to try to get to Pandora and, and get up to the safari because again, they've heard that tip. They're trying to get the flight of passage and get that stuff out of the way early in the morning. So when you come into the park and you're walking down that main section towards the Tree of Life, go right, hit Dinosaur, do Nemo, uh, work your way up to Everest because that's gonna probably be the time of the day when those attractions have the lowest wait times. And I 100% think that that's gonna be your best chance to do those. And finally, number three, this is for all of you, again, who are out there that need those, that are doing it for the gram. You need those Instagram photos. When you're rope dropping in the morning, if you don't care about attractions, you just wanna make sure you get the best photos for the day, 
1000%, you need to go to Pandora first and do your photos there. The Tree of Life even, right in front of the Tree of Life when you first walk in, first of all, everybody's trying to get to attractions so there's not as many people who are lining up to do photos right there in front of the Tree of Life. But the Tree of Life is also lit up by the sun just beautifully. You're gonna get your best photos of the day, in my opinion, if you take them as soon as you get in, in front of the Tree of Life, and in Pandora in front of the floating mountains. In another video, when we talk about a few things you need to know if you're coming to the park later in the day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom, we'll talk about taking photos for in front of Everest, but don't do those in the morning because the sun's gonna be behind you. It's not gonna look as good, I promise. Pandora photos in the morning, Everest photos in the evening, we'll talk about that in another video, but rope dropping, Animal Kingdom, my favorite thing about it is getting those photos early in the morning in front of the floating mountains so that they're just lit up beautifully for you. But if you wanna figure out the things that you need to know if you're gonna to come to the park later in the day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom, you can check out the video on the screen right now. And remember, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow.